be here, especially because I'm escaping very cold weather in Michigan, um, and it's a beautiful, magnificent city. People try to ask me from the stage, like, what, what's Dubai like? What's it? I was like, it's, it's like a, it's like a P. Diddy video. It's, it's the real version of it. Like everything here is so big and beautiful, and just doesn't seem real. You know what I mean? My accent is so funny. Uh, when I was coming here, my, my dad told me he said, when you go to Dubai, you're going to love it. You won't want to come back. I got an email one day and it just said, um, Dear Arabs, looking for Arabs um, who act, and um, there's a Lebanese filmmaker making a movie who needs some actresses and actors. So um, I qualified that I was an act, uh, that I was a Lebanese, but I wasn't an actress, but I just figured, like, you know, what do I have to lose? So I'll just go anyway. So I went and I tried out, and I thought it would be a wonderful story to, like, just share with friends. Like, hey, guys, I went and tried out for a movie. And, um, and I did, and then they called me a few weeks later. I found out about this particular project via Facebook, of all places. Yeah. Somebody contacted me and said, hey, have you heard about this project? It's in Michigan. It's about this. I was like, oh, man. So I, um, I contacted my representation. I said, can you please try to get the script? Read through it. Um, and I said, I'll, I won't audition for any part. I, I, I decided I was going to audition for Mike, put myself on tape. And ironically, she was looking for that part still. She couldn't fill that role. So I sent it in, and uh, the next thing you know, I get a call from Rola, and hey, you know, you're Mike. I go, yeah, I'm Mike. <laughs> you know what I mean, you're Mike in the movie. I go, oh, oh, who this? It's Rola. Rola has an energy um, that just doesn't stop. Um, she's really energetic, she's really friendly, um, really warm. Um, and she won't accept anything that is not exactly what she wants. She had a vision for this movie and she stuck to it. She was very committed and dedicated to that vision. So working with her was at times nerve-wracking. It's like, oh my God, how do I satisfy Rula? But um, now seeing the full movie, I, I realized that she had uh, the perfect plan in mind and um, we did well. No, uh, Rola Nashville was amazing. She's uh, from my hometown, from Michigan. So it was that made it even more special to go back home to Michigan and, and film something with a, a local director writer and the experience was amazing she runs a great tight ship everybody was very professional very supportive um, it was a special experience it was like one of the highlights of my career Rolo she was she was great I mean it was her first feature film and, uh, much like it was my first feature film so we had a we had a specific relationship because of that uh, working on the film the dialogue the the scenes, just everything for it, collaborating, it was just, it was very easy. Yeah, I can. Um, yeah. She was a great character that was just trying to go through life, um, and I related to that. Yeah, yeah, I can. It's, it's, it's the guy's a hustler, he's, you know, very high energy. It's, it's me on, uh, on steroids, basically, <laughs> with a thicker accent. In a lot of ways, Sammy and I were polar opposites, but in a lot of ways we're similar. For instance, uh, in the film, you notice that he doesn't speak Arabic, but he listens to people and he understands people who speak Arabic. And that's something that I did growing up as a kid. My mother would speak Arabic to me and I would speak English back to her. Uh, the way that he is with, with the girls and the, like how he's so timid and it's not how I am. <laughs> I'm a Casanova when it comes to the ladies, but uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you watch it, you're not from that area, you'll see, especially in the setting of the, especially the, 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 the cultures of the African American and the Arab American communities, you know, coming together via the gas station and interactions and... Uh, you see the relationship between like Arab Americans and African Americans in the film, which is a beautiful thing because there's so many similarities, so, so many similarities to that culture. It's, it's hilarious that... Um, it hasn't been shown on camera uh, prior. Working with EJ and Mike was incredible because they are both um, well seasoned actors, um, whereas like I had never acted before. So it was um, really encouraging and it was remarkably comfortable to have these group of guys around me um, who are remarkably experienced and like supportive and um, funny. We have like a hybrid language, you know what I mean? So Arabish. we, it's Arabish they call it, yeah, very much. So, hey, Wallah, bro, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. And 
Allahi man, so we'll mix up the Arabic and English and uh... We would just joke around and trying to try to light up, lighten up the mood. I mean, there were some times on set, I, and I'm pretty sure this is only uh, on an Arab set, where we were doing the dub key. We were just <laughs> dancing. My future plans are, like after coming here to Dubai, one of my big future plans is coming back to Dubai and doing some things here. Are... My future plans, well I have a project I just finished called Misled, it's a, a film, um, I play a bad guy in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be touring, I'll be doing some tours, uh, Middle Eastern comedy, stand-up comedy tours, I'll mm -hmm. probably be hitting uh, Dubai, I'm probably back here, Abu Dhabi. Um... Me and two other friends uh, of mine, we're writing a, a movie and uh, we're trying to get that up and running and, and we're hoping to shoot it by next, uh, this upcoming summer, you know, probably, I want to say late summer, late July, early August. I would like to come back and, and uh, be a part of a film here. Like, that's just, that would be a good goal of mine, just to uh, be in a, uh, a Middle Eastern film, you know what I mean? Funded by the Middle East, shot in the Middle East, and, and uh, just, I'd, I'd like to have that experience. You know? So if you're out there, let me know, call me, we'll do something together.